Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, another beautiful Windows Server 10 technical preview video for you guys. I've been playing around with it, and I noticed something that caught my eye right away, which is like the best thing for us techie people that love to document everything. I, for myself, like to document anything that I do within the work or when I do YouTube stuff and put it at my site because. Uh, if something happens to me, how is the next person gonna learn? You know, they can either watch my videos, or if you're not a video person, you like to like watch pictures and read stuff. You like, to, you know, you gotta document it. With Windows Server 10, they actually give you this cool little tool. I don't, I don't think I ever noticed this, but I was never paying attention until now. Uh, if you go to Start, go to All Apps, and if you go into, I believe, Windows Accessories, you got a Steps Recorded. Wow. Now this is pretty cool. So I'm actually going to install web services right now and I want this particular tool to capture everything. So what it does, it captures screen by shot and it also, it like the time frame and also tells you it did this, it did that. It's awesome. So I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to start the record uh, and I'm going to go, I'm going to, let's put this, I'm going to put this on the corner right here, right? Put this in the corner. Okay, I'm just putting it in the corner. I'm just gonna minimize it. Let's minimize it. Uh, server. I'm gonna go server manager, right? Uh, manage add roles and features. Next, next. You're gonna select that. As you can see, the mouse is kind of glowing. That is the program doing its thing. Uh, web service. Add the features. You're gonna go to next. Um, I'm going to just leave everything as default. Hit next hit next the roles and services I like to add at least uh, basic authentication and I like to do the IS management com com uh, compatibility and we're gonna hit next on that and we're going to install and right now the tool is it cap it's capturing all these screenshots and it's just it builds it into this M T HTML file uh, and from there you can actually it, it kind of compresses it into a zip file, which pretty soon I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this is going to run because eventually I'm going to be needing these services for a future video for you guys. But what I'm going to do is open up the recorder. I'm going to stop the record. And pretty soon, depending how much stuff you've done, uh, it's going to generate all the information with the captures, with the screen captures, with the text. It's just amazing. It's a great tool. And I'm super psyched that Microsoft actually uh, created this. So as you can see, it looks like the program captured most of it. Step one was we didn't really do anything as much, right? Uh, because I dragged stuff that it didn't capture it. But it did capture me going into the server manager, uh, me going into the ads and roll. This is awesome. This is really awesome. From here, you can actually save it. It saves it as a zip file compressed. So I'm going to put it into the desktop and let's say uh, capture... Uh, session and it's gonna add it at the zip file. I'm gonna show you how it looks inside. But look at all the steps. This is this saves so much energy and time rather than using a snipping tool and capturing screenshots and then typing and all that stuff. The tool does everything for you. Microsoft, thank you so much for this tool. This is gonna make my life easier for my subscribers and and you know the people that I work with in the office when I need to work with these documents and do these documents for them. Uh, best thing I love about this, if you go all the way down into the recording, it gives you additional details, like step by step of what's happening behind the scenes. I love it. This is awesome. So I'm actually going to close this, and my web services is already done. I've closed that. I'm going to close my server manager. And here is our capture session zip file. If you double click on it, uh, again, it gives you a nice HTML document. It's not that big. Uh, but if you want to save it into a Word document, open it up, copy and paste into a Word document, manipulate it, change it the way you want it, and that's it. I mean, I love this tool. I'm going to be using it a lot. I want to know what you guys, if you guys are actually testing out Windows 10 Server technical preview, what are the new features you guys caught? Leave them at the comment section. Add it to the list. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as it supports this guy. And uh, again, I catch you guys in the next one and thank you. Peace out.